Hey y'all, so I have made it to New York for the startup bus kickoff. I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna keep you posted, so let's see. And this may be nice to hear for our buspreneurs out there that black entrepreneurs have 12 times the net worth of black non-entrepreneurs. So I, I need to get my own startup bus. <laughs> yeah, I need to get to it. Hey, any good ideas, tell me so I can join in. But that's why we're excited to really participate in this effort and focus on that next generation of black entrepreneurs. And so over the next five days, we are going to work with this super talented group and refine pitches and share ideas for how you take that initial thinking or idea and create a pitch that investors will want to invest in. And because we are ABP, Advancing Black Pathways, we want to make sure that these solutions are having impact. And so we're excited to truly be a part and participate for the first time uh, in Startup Bus. And so I've seen some of the entrepreneurs, I, you know, one thing I said, I'm, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Because I don't know what I would tell you. These kids are like brilliant and, and already more accomplished than I could, anything I can imagine. So I think we have uh, fortunate to have the winning team with us tonight. And, and so I'm glad everyone is here. On that. Y'all, so I don't know where I am right now, but we left New York around two o'clock in the afternoon. We did some uh, some icebreakers and all that kind of stuff. Then we broke up into teams, and we're building a startup on this bus right now. Like this, that bus back there is the startup bus, and I don't, I really, I don't know where we are. I could ask. I don't know where we're headed. I could ask. But honestly, like I'm having such a good time just meeting amazing people from all over the country and now working with the team from all over the place to build a startup. And we got some things rolling. We're like pitching on the bus, we're making iterations on the bus, we're getting mentored. So it's a lot, but it's a lot of fun. All right, hey everyone. So uh, we are the team that has yet to be named. Um, Voldemort. That's right. Voldemort. That's right. Team Voldemort. Um, so basically, um, only or <laughs> seventy percent of Americans are considered uh, financially unhealthy, and financial health comes about when you have the right mix of spending, borrowing, saving, and planning. So we are developing a personal financial management tool uh, that users can use to uh, basically assess. Uh, and improve their financial health over time. So using machine learning, we can look at the previous financial history of a user, understand their current spending habits, uh, their their debt, uh, what they're investing in, if they're investing in anything, uh, and their financial plans moving forward. And based on where they're currently at, we can help them put plans in place to increase their health over time. But to make it even easier for our users, uh, we're going to integrate with a few different APIs where you just log into your bank account directly through our platform and we can pull that information, aggregate it into one place and give you sort of like a, an easy uh, overview of your current financial picture. Um, and we're currently discussing sort of like go-to-market strategies and we actually see um, we're, we're looking into corporate wellness programs, uh, people who have budgets allocated to making sure that their employees are improving their health and wellness over time uh, and we think that financial health should be included in that and we think that people actually would consider to invest uh, dollars to make sure that their employees aren't coming to work stressed out about their personal finances so that they can do their work uh, more effectively and efficiently. Focuses on uh, individualizing and customizing individuals' financial 
Cool. So I think um, one thing that our team did really well is like divvying up tasks, figuring out what what skill everybody brings to the table, and uh, what pieces we can all add to the puzzle so that we can continue to make progress. Um, and it's been really going well so far. I'm really happy with uh, all the progress we've been able to make in such a short amount of time. Um, going into the pitch like totally blind was was a uh, definitely a surprise. But I think we handled it really well and definitely impressed everyone like walking out of it. Um, but I think moving forward, we're gonna definitely create our, our pitch script so that everybody can understand the script, uh, get on the same page, and then regardless of who has to come up here and get on the mic, we're all prepared and ready to go. Good. All right. Who else? What? So right now we are in Tech Town, Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Never been to Detroit before, but it's very exciting. I'm in like a little, I don't know what this place is, like a co-working space, uh, slash event space, they kind of do it all, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, this is like stop number three, officially number two on our uh, startup bus journey. Woke up early this morning after leaving Ohio um, and we just got to work, spent three hours on the bus just, just building this startup. So uh, pitching on the bus, refining our business model um, and working as a team to start building out our minimum viable product. So. Uh, it's really been cool seeing how each member of our team, there's five of us, are like all contributing to like different pieces of the, the bigger picture. So I'm excited to show you all what that looks like. Happens here to influence communities to build smarter financial habits and achieve their financial goals. Unlike competitors like Mint and Moneyline, our holistic approach to money allows users to build a financial safety net to fall back on, build up long-term savings, and of course, fund those experiences like going to Coachella. So, so through using AI and machine learning, we assess the current financial health of our users and provide a personalized recommendation as they progress along their journey. We start by showing how you stack up when it comes to your overall financial health and then place you in one of three buckets, vulnerable, coping, or healthy. And regardless of your current financial situation, we provide actionable steps so that you can move forward in achieving your financial goals and maintain your overall financial health. I'm here in Motown, Motown Museum, Detroit, Michigan. This is lit. This is the birthplace of Motown. Just took a tour of Barry Gordy Boulevard. Entrepreneur, very enterprising. But this is where a lot of the greats got their starts. You didn't see that, it was a butterfly. Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder. Who else we got? A lot of others, a lot of great people. Diana Ross, Diana Ross. It's a beautiful place. Got off the bus. It's about what, is, what time is it? 10:46 p.m. We came from Detroit, and we were riding for like five, six hours. Get off the bus, walk in this hotel, and we're walking around like asking people, like, "Where are we? Like, we don't know. We don't even know where we are. We see horses all over the place." Kentucky. Sing our MVP. Is Larry financially healthy? Hmm. Oh no, it's broken. <laughs> 
to do the qualifying round where uh, three members of our team have to give a one minute pitch individually and basically the whole concept of that is to make sure that everyone's on the same page everybody's been you know contributing uh, equal amounts of work to building the startup over the past couple of days um, and then yeah hopefully if we can make it through this round we'll get to the next next round which is a three minute pitch uh, where we can actually use the pitch deck which I'm excited about because I've been working on um, and then if we're able to get past the semifinals we'll move to the uh, final presentation where you get 10 minutes to pitch on stage um, so let's just let um, there have been what three groups with nine teams each uh, pitching for the past I don't know how long uh, group A already went, Group B just finished up, and we are in Group C. So, now is, is go time. Most of us remember 
remember the last time that we got a physical health checkup. But when was the last time you had a financial health checkup? Most likely, never. But don't worry, you're not alone. Because over 70% of Americans are considered to be financially unhealthy. And financial health comes about when you have a healthy mix of spending, saving, borrowing, and investing your money. Let's take an example of a recent college grad. You're about to enter the workforce and start making more money than you've ever had before. You've also got significant debt, very little savings, and you really just want to be able to afford those awesome experiences like going on a bus tour across the country with your new best friends. Yeah. And when it comes to managing your money, you're totally overwhelmed. Hi, I'm Gary, co-founder of Chia Money, where we're using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze your previous money habits and provide you with a personalized assistant helping you forge a path towards financial health and freedom. And guess what? You can go to www.chia.money to get your free financial health assessment right now. And once again, we are Chia Money, your financial health superfood. <laughs> Hey yo, it's 2.30 a.m. in New Orleans. We pitched yesterday in the qualifying round and won't know until nine o'clock this morning if we made it to the semifinals. And then, you know, then we'd have to go to the semifinals to get to the finals. So we have to prepare our pitches to be ready to take advantage of, of both opportunities if they present themselves. So we went to sleep around an hour and a half ago and now we're up and now we have just a few hours to pull everything together. Uh, so this is it. Mamba. Oh, so we got the news 
that we did not advance to the semifinals and it's been a little while since since we were in there i'm like i've walked out of the, the uh auditorium uh just to take a break and like you know decompress with the team and everything briefly but uh it, it was definitely a blow and it wasn't just a blow because um our team didn't make it to the semifinals, but out of the out of all the teams that we had on our bus, for only one to make it to the finals, and everybody was building absolutely amazing things and teams in a very short amount of time. That's that is what feels like the loss, but the win. There is a win, and the win is the teams that we formed, the relationships that we made and developed, and all the places we traveled. We're actually at uh, Mahalia Jackson Theater in New Orleans right now, and uh, it's, it's uh, I guess, situated on what used to be slave quarters. So it's definitely, like, you know, a very humbling experience. But it also reminds you why you do what you do. So, sort of cliche, but it's true that, you know, this isn't the end. It, this is really just the beginning. Because we're about to go build something that we believe in as a team. And we're all invested in it. And we know that it's going to solve a real problem for lots of people. So I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. But... I gotta go out and have some fun tonight because I'm stressed. Most of us can remember the last time we had a physical health checkup, but when was the last time you had a financial health checkup? Most likely your answer is never. But don't worry, you're not alone, with over 70% of Americans being considered financially unhealthy. And financial health comes about when you have a healthy mix of spending, borrowing, saving, and investing your money. Let's take a recent college grad, Chris for example. You're about to enter the workforce and start making more than you've ever made before, but you've got a bunch of debt very little savings, and you really just want to be able to afford the finer experiences in life, like going to your favorite music festival with your best friends. But when it comes to managing your money, you're left totally overwhelmed. Hi, I'm Gary, co-founder of Chia Money, where we're using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze your previous money habits to provide personalized recommendations to help you forge a path towards financial health. Hey, and guess what? You can even go to www.chia.money to get your free financial health checkup today. Once again, we're Chia Money, your financial health superfood.